All right, guys. First time I got to use the lull. Pretty exciting. Um, definitely gonna make this job go 100 times easier with whatever we have to move. Those sheets of metal are probably upwards of 300 pounds. Um, so I'm kind of wishing I wouldn't have gone nine feet wide, but here I am now, and this is what we're gonna deal with. We'll figure it out. Yeah, everything moving stuff. We got all the sheets, all the siding stacked up, and we got the doors moved and got those stacked up. So uh, thank you again, Matt and Tony, for getting that machine up here from BRC. Uh, you guys rock absolutely priceless to have that here. So thank you. Here is my little invention that I dreamed up. I'm probably not the first one. I, I hadn't seen it before, but uh, I basically drew on a napkin uh, what I wanted and the measurements and my neighbor, Chris, uh who you guys know and have met um he made this at his shop and brought it up and i'm telling you this works super slick it's not super heavy duty so i wouldn't be able to pick up a container that's fully loaded or anything with stuff in it but these empty um these particular containers were 7870 pounds um, and these axles and tires, these junk tires that I got on here actually did just fine. Um, and now we have even less weight in these because I we took all the wood out of the floor and cut a bunch of metal out of them. So I don't know how they how much they weigh now, but I can't imagine it's even half of half of what they were. So I think I'm doing it. I think I got it. Now, the question is, should I figure out some rigging? I probably should, because I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna go from this pocket to this pocket with a chain. So I need a ladder, a chain, and then we'll, uh, we'll get this thing hooked up and start moving her around. Yeah! You guys have no idea how nerve wracking this is how exciting it is you know these containers were moved uh, once before they were out in the field out there when I first had them delivered because everything was covered in snow and after the snow melted we moved them in line so basically I got a Congo line of or an assembly line of containers this is kind of a big deal now because uh, there's some nervousness number one because I don't know how well these are gonna hold up with moving them especially this one that I accidentally cut that support across the bottom so we got the straps in this one just the excitement of okay they're being moved now and this is the last time these are gonna be moved they're moved on site uh, it's kind of an epic moment for me to just to pick these things up and start moving them so we're gonna see how the rigging works that I'm going to set up. Why are you doing that, babe? Because the wires come down. Metal beam sits so right here. Oh. So I got really lucky. We got just enough to move. And it was lost because I didn't, I didn't plan this out. This just so happened that Jesse put this here, the heating guy put that there, and not right in the middle. There's nothing right in the middle. It's perfect. Yeah. Is that 
why they're waiting to polish the floor? It's just you and me, honey. Oh, yeah. I'm not much help. Oh, you're, you're my moral support. I have moral support. Yeah, you should hear my terrified voice. Every time you do something. Ah! Ooh. Oh, it made me so nervous you can run into that thing. What? The, that it one. It got right? close, didn't it? Woo! Can you do that? So you have to, you have to swing her back. It almost has to be, well, it has to be perfect because of those pipes. You know what guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a beautiful day today, a little hot, but this last week has, it's been a tough one on me. It's, uh, I'm going on little to no sleep for the last week. Uh, it feels like things aren't going as well as I hoped. I found myself thinking a couple of times that, man, uh, I wish I wouldn't have torn that old house down. So today, we are going to lay out all of the columns where they bolt to the floor. We are gonna start in this upper corner, the engineered drawing, start with zero up here, so we're gonna start here. I have a little bit of regret putting that there, but I got a little excited and wanted to get it done. Um, I should have laid out all these points prior. Luckily, we only have three columns on that side of the house that have to be. We can move that container a little bit just so that we can get our measurements absolutely spot on. Yeah, this is me just having some time by myself with you guys and having a tape measure in my hand and doing something is good therapy for me. So here is how we're gonna lay things out. All right guys, so uh, here is my template. Here's my first spot that I wanna mark. So what I've decided, which I should have decided a long time ago, is that green means go and red means stop. I've got green marker paint and red marker paint and I should have from the get-go kind of had that idea I didn't that's why I blazed through one of the containers where I shouldn't have All right. being a mess looks like I've got spots where I'm supposed to drill anchors lining it up making sure it's straight all the way back makes it a heck of a lot easier to finish this out so next step plasma cut this cross beam out and drop this container take the axles out of that end and finish pulling it this way so we're getting close to having container number two set That was real stupid. 
this wall is gonna curve in it because these two bottom corners caught on the edge of the slab and I kept pushing instead of picking it up and pushing it. Just when I thought things were going well, very awesome. Well, there's a container on the slab, but it's bent now. And I don't know what that's gonna matter. If that's gonna be a spot that I'm, it's gonna be covered up inside or not. But yeah, you can see. God, that was really stupid. Oh my gosh, that was stupid. Ah. Well, second container set. That's a victory, I guess. So check out this bad boy. This thing is insanely powerful. It's pretty cool. So we've got a carbide tip concrete drill bit on here. It's got four holes in the end of it. So the vacuum goes onto here and sucks all the dust through the end of the bit. And it's pretty amazing how there's zero dust when I've been doing this. We're gonna show you how quickly and easily this thing drills holes. Check with my little template to see how they're lining up. Everything looks great, perfect. Everything turned out perfect. Well, close enough. We've got, I've got three sets of anchors. So basically I've got 12 more holes to drill and they're underneath these two containers. So I gotta grab the lull, pick these up high enough in the air so that I can get underneath in a real safe manner uh, to drill these four holes. So let's see how this goes. Wish me luck. 